I believe at the end of time there will be two groups of people. One group burning forever and the other group burning for a short time. And if you are not burning forever, you are on the wrong side. Ooh, that was nice. But let's get active. Hello everyone, welcome back to the video. Welcome back. This is the Open Veil TV, and we are back with another video for you guys. And this topic is gonna be about temporary hell. The question is, do you wanna burn forever? Or do you wanna burn for a short time? Let's get into it. We're gonna look at our first verse. And people kept, some people said, well, Ellen White came with that doctrine of temporary hellfire. I'm like, please, let's see what Baba actually says about hellfire. Let's go. So, our first verse, Hebrews chapter 12. And in Hebrews chapter 12, we're going to go all the way to the last verses where he says, Wherefore, we receive in a kingdom which cannot be moved. Let us have grace whereby we may serve our God acceptably with reverence and godly fear. Why? For our God is a consuming fire. This is the base verse. God is a what? A consuming fire. Which means, if you are in the presence of God, you will be what? In the presence of a consuming fire. But that's not it. Let's go to the better places. Let's see what the Bible actually means by this. Exodus chapter 3. I'm going to try to make the video really as short as possible. If you guys want a longer version, you can put it in the comment section. I'll make a longer version for that. But for this one, I want to keep it short. Verse number 2. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a flame of fire out of the midst of a, of a bush. And he looked, and behold, the bush burnt with fire, and the bush was not consumed. Wait a minute. So the bush is burning, but it's not consumed. What does that mean? Well, that tells me that there is the possibility of two cases. You being burning, and you, as you being burned, as you getting burned, no, you burning, and you getting consumed. The bush is burning, Bible says, right, but it's not being consumed, so it's not getting worse. It's just burning, which tells me there is the possibility of simply being burning yet you are not getting burned meaning you're not decaying and let me give you a a third even better example of that let's go to the book of daniel you know in chapter 2 of daniel nebuchadnezzar had a dream you know he had a dream of a statue of a man and head of gold and all that kind of stuff and then we'll give him the explanation of it and in chapter 3 he said i don't like your explanation i like my method and what did he do he made a whole statue of gold and he said at the sound of every you know, flute harp sultry and every kind of music that everyone should bow down and worship the golden image but there were three Hebrew boys that did not. And most of you guys don't even know their real name. You know Shadrach, Minak, you know, you know Shadrach Meshach, Abednego. That's their pagan name. The real names are Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. Most people do not even know their actual names. That's sad. But let's move on. And they brought them to the king. And the king was like, wait, guys, hold on. You guys know how much I love you guys. You guys did a great job by telling me what happened with my dream. But I think it would be a good thing if you would just, you know, 
to show allegiance, just to bow down. You know, you don't even have to bow down. You can pretend that you were tying your shoes or your sandals. That would be good enough. But what did the Hebrew boy say? Now, say, now, I, that's not Bible. I, I'm just making like, you know, dramatic for you guys to understand. What did the Hebrew the boy say? Verse 16. He said, oh, king, um, king, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. If it be so, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace, and he will deliver us. But if not, let it be known, we will not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image which you have set up. What happened next? King was so mad, his face changed like the devil, and he commanded that they should hit the furnace, what, seven times more. And what happened? And he commanded that the most mighty men that he were that are in the army to bind the three boys, Hananiah, Mishael, and Zariah, Hananiah, Mishael, and Zariah, to bind them and throw them into the fiery furnace. What happened next? Therefore, verse number 22, because the king's commandment was urgent and the furnace was exceeding hot, the flame of the fire slew those army men who took the Hebrew boys and the three Hebrew boys, they fell into the fire furnace, but they were not, they were not burned. Funny, what happened? What do you think happened here? Let me tell you what happened now. There is one fire, and that fire is God. Remember, God is the consuming fire. One fire, God, but there are two. It's one because it's only God who is fire. But there are two because it depends on where you are standing with God. Are you standing on the left as the goat or on the right as the lamb? It's up to you. There's only one fire but it's two. It's one because it's God but it's two because it depends on where you are standing. Here in this chapter, chapter 13, guess what? Both groups, both groups, the soldiers and the three boys, both groups experienced the same fire, one fire. They both experienced the same fire, that one fire, the fire furnace. One group, now both groups experienced the same fire, both groups were burning because of the fire. Both groups were burning because of the fire. And then what happened next? One group kept burning and the other group got consumed. You didn't, you, you didn't follow me. Both groups were burning because of the fire. One group kept burning and the other group got consumed. Now tell me which group kept burning and which group got consumed? Put it in the conversation down below. Which group got consumed? Well, the answer is the soldiers. And which group kept burning? The Hebrew boys. But funny thing, they kept burning, but they never get burned. Why? Because the Bible says to us next, when he was when he, when he was astonished, verse number 24, he said, Didn't we cast three men? Why do I see four? And that the fourth one is like what? Like the Son of God. That tells you, remember, God is a consuming fire. Everyone who is next to God is going to be in that fire burning. Now, you can either be burning forever with God or burn for a short time in hell. Woo! Ain't that nice? <laughs> Ain't that nice? There will be two group of people at the end of time one group burning forever and the other group burning for a short time and if you are on the short time that means you are on the wrong side guess what it's the same fire both group will experience the same fire again when jesus comes the second time both wicked and just will experience the same fire of the brightness of Christ's coming. One group 
goes to the fire and meet Christ in the air, the other group dies because of the fire. Ooh. Wow. And then, fun, even better yet, we're going to be spend, spending a thousand years in heaven looking at the records of the wicked and while they are lost and those that are in heaven while they are in heaven. But guess what we're going to be? We're going to be in that fire in heaven. God is the consuming fire. We're going to be in that fire. For a thousand years, we'll be burning yet not being consumed. And when we come back, according to chapter 20 of Revelation, when we come back to judge the wicked, Bible says this. Actually, not, let me actually go there so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Bible says this. Bible says, verse number, verse number 20, no, not 20, verse number 8. No, verse number 9, verse number 9. And they went up on the breadth of the earth and encompassed the camp of the saints about and the below a city, and fire came down from God, where out of heaven and devoured who them, the devil and his people. Guess what? Guess who was in that fire for a thousand years? Us, the saints. The same fire that the devil and his angels and ever and all the wicked will be consumed by. Is that same fire we've been in for a thousand years in heaven? Two groups of people. One fire. It depends on where you are standing. If I believe, like I said earlier, there will be one group of people burning forever throughout eternity and another group burning for a short time. If you're not burning forever, you are on the wrong side. What group do you want to be in? Are we Seventh-day Adventist? A cult? For believing that those that will be in hellfire is going to be in a short time fire? No, my friends. We are not the cult. You apostates are the cult. You who want to call us cult because you refuse to study and learn more. You are the cult. Nobody's going to be burning forever in hell. Those that will be burning forever are going to be in heaven. Fact check that. Because that is from the Bible alone. There is not a single quote from Ellen White in this video. Bible alone. Look at your Bible. And find out where we're going to be burning forever in hell. Now, if you want to take a parable and make it literal, be my guess. But, guys, I'm going to stop it right here. Don't make it too long. If you like the video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button again and that like button and that notification bell. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. <laughs> Whew. This is not from Ellen White. This is from the Bible. Bible alone. Again, this was the Open Door TV. I hope to see you guys again. Until then, bye for now.